Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is a breaking news story coming from Spain in relation to the arrest of Jerry the Monk Hutch. Jerry the Monk has been wanted on a European arrest warrant for quite a long time and the 58 year old was taken into custody by Spanish police in the Costa del Sol yesterday after the European arrest warrant was executed. Detectives believe that he's behind the 2016 Regency Hotel attack that resulted in the death of David Byrne. A former Sinn Féin councillor has already been charged with the murder of David Byrne in 2016. The guard are expected to take several months before they can extradite Jerry the Monk Hutch over his alleged involvement in the Regency attack. David Byrne was murdered when a gang of five stormed a boxing weigh-in that was held by Daniel Kinahan, who was believed to have been the intended target. The Irish Independent newspaper said that Hutch is likely to face a string of charges when he's returned to Ireland and some of the charges are possession of firearms. Ultimately, they say they are waiting on the Spanish judge to sign off on the extradition and the evidence used by the Guardi to secure the arrest warrant was last April in 2020. Hutch is believed to be held in Spain's Central National Court and he's been arrested by the elite police unit. He was arrested, they say, outside his home in Malaga, where he'd been hiding out and been under surveillance for several days by specialist agents. The court that is based in Madrid has jurisdiction over major crimes like terrorism, trade crimes, drug trafficking, as well as international crimes. The monk is expected to be held there until his extradition. The police say that Jerry believed he had no case to answer for after the trial on Patrick Hutch fell apart in relation to the Regency murder. This was because the lead officer in charge of the case died. The case Patrick said he was the gunman dressed as a woman at the Regency. And although he didn't shoot David Byrne, he was part of a shared intention to commit the murder. Patrick Hutch denied the offences and in February 2019, the DPP dropped the charges against him. A detailed investigation file on the monks alleged involvement in the Regency attack was submitted to the Director of Prosecutions later last year. The guard had believed the attack was planned in revenge for the death of Jerry Hutch's nephew, Gary, in Spain in 2015. Because they believe originally that the monk and the Kinahans were friends and they fell out over an attempted assassination, which then resulted in the death of his son. Shortly after this, gunmen tried to kill the monk in Lanzarote, but he avoided the attempt. And the Irish Independent alleged that the retaliation for the murder of his nephew was the Regency in 2016. Three of the gunmen was dressed as Irish police and Daniel Kinahan was inside the venue with his close associate David Byrne and his brother Liam who managed to escape for the back door. The subsequent feud between the two families claimed 18 lives they said in Irish court and two of them were innocent men. Death toll included Jerry Hutch's brother Eddie, three of his nephews and two of his best friends. Jerry Hutch, he was more low-key and his sons didn't go on to do boxing promoting so he's got more of a lower profile. He was only 24 when he made his name for himself after growing up in the streets of Dublin in impoverished neighbourhoods. He has never been convicted of armed robbery but the police believe that he stole 1.6 million from a security van in Dublin in 1987. They say this catapulted him to the big league in relation to crime in Ireland. The police say 1995 Hutch and his gang again made their gangland history books when they were the prime suspects for the robbery of 3.5 million from a cash holding facility in North Dublin again. The money they say was laundered through construction projects at the beginning of the country's building boom. Hutch managed to escape prosecution but was forced to pay back 1.5 million to satisfy a tax demand. He said in a rare interview that he was grew up in a poor background and his father was known as Masha Hutch and worked on the docks in Dublin while his mum, Julia, took care of the family. In 1971, the Hutch family moved to Summerhill. He became the leader of an infamous teenage gang called the Bugsy Malones. Hutch was sent to prison at 15 and he said it was like a college for criminals. At the age of 16, he was interviewed by RTE Radio. He said, I can't give up, Robin. If I see a car, I'm taking it. I just can't leave it there. If I see a handbag on a seat, I'm going to smash the window and take the money. I don't go near people walking down the street. They're not worth robbing. 
Hutch was sentenced 11 times and spent sentences in industrial schools before going to Mountjoy Prison. When he was 20, Jerry got two years for malicious damage and this was his last time he was ever sent to prison. And they accuse him of being involved in some of the biggest heists, even though he has denied any involvement and he has never been prosecuted. He said in an interview in 2008 that as a kid, my first conviction was stealing a bottle of lemonade. I then got involved in other crimes, stealing and breaking into shops. He said he had no choice, you had to do that to feed yourself. He said that he's a convicted criminal, but he's not an armed robber. And he's not a convicted hitman or a convicted drug dealer. He said he has a kid now that's 15 and sometimes I look at him and think, oh my God, when I was 15, I was in prison. He said, I've done a lot of business in property and it was a good time when I came out. That's where I made my money. If people say armed robbery, so be it, but that isn't the case. He even made a limousine business called CAB that stood for carry anybody. Hutch was under surveillance while he was in Spain and he moved to several different countries while he was evading capture following the European arrest warrants. They say the monk has connections across Eastern Europe and police believe he has a massive cash reserves of about 30 million and to stay one step ahead of the law and the Kinahan gunman. It's believed Hutch left continental Europe last month as the international police manhunt gained momentum. It took detectives five years to compile evidence against Hutch following the murder of Byrne, but the director of public prosecutions believe they have enough to prosecute him. So this is a breaking story coming from Spain and he's definitely going to have massive consequences for Jerry Hutch. I'm definitely going to keep you updated on the extradition proceedings and please don't forget to follow us online at Scar City Studios. The merchandise is now available to purchase from the store on the website to try to make savings by not going directly through YouTube. I really appreciate all the support and everyone that's placed orders so far and don't forget I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. Or call 999.